My name is Olani Virtu. I'm an agricultural economist by profession and I worked in international development for over 20 years in Ethiopia. I'm currently the director of IED in Ethiopia. I was born and raised in the western part of the country, wherein instead of aspiring to be a teacher, I ended up being an agriculturalist, navigating my family's intergenerational business. I grew up in a family of six children. Mom and dad are one of the few model farmers in my community that always see farming as business. I joined ID in 2008 because of my personal passion to work for an organization that's more human-centric, sustainable, to meet demands of the current generation without compromising the needs of the future generation. I'm sorry that we are not together physically for you to see Ethiopia, but I wanted you to get a glimpse of the beautiful country we live in and the work that ID is doing in Ethiopia and how ID is helping the rural community to get out of perpetual poverty. Ethiopia is the largest and most populated country in the Horn of Africa. It is one of the world's oldest countries, with the earliest instance of humans using tools having been found here. The topography is some of the most rugged on the continent, but there are also immensely fertile areas, interspersed with savanna, mountain vegetation, tropical thickets, and desert vegetation. Over 80 languages and 200 dialects can be found throughout Ethiopia. Many songs in Amharic, the working language of the federal government, are described as gold and wax, the former representing spirituality and the latter a connection to the earth and oneself. Religion provides the basic tenets of morality in Ethiopia, and hospitality is the ultimate expression of grace. Invoking God is often all that is needed to seal agreements or deliver on promises. The population of over 100 million is still relatively young, with over half under age 25. Only about one-fifth of the population is urbanized. Most Ethiopians live in scattered rural communities. Despite progress with economic reform, Ethiopia remains one of the poorest countries in Africa and the world. However, there is great potential. The country's most promising resource is its agricultural land. Nearly half of the potentially cultivable land is still available for use. Agriculture contributes almost half of Ethiopia's gross domestic product, with coffee being the biggest export. As the story goes, coffee was first discovered by an Ethiopian goat herder when he noticed his goats dancing after eating berries off the coffee plant. Cultivating that land takes water, and that's long been a problem. For example, in 2016, the country experienced its worst drought in 30 years, and many people were forced to relocate. It is within these conditions that IDE works to empower entrepreneurs to supply solutions for agriculture. IDE has been in Ethiopia since 2007, increasing the income of small-scale farmers using a market-based approach and climate-smart technologies. We collaborate with the Ethiopian government to connect farmers to agricultural extension services, technical support, and improved seed varieties as a means for building the ecosystem necessary to foster self-sustaining businesses and resilient communities. We also support and encourage farmers to diversify into high-value commercial crops, livestock products, and other high-value agricultural commodities, such as honey. Through this, farmers begin viewing and practicing farming as a business, rather than as a way of life, laying the foundation for permanently moving their families out of poverty. In addition to agriculture, IGE also seeks to improve health outcomes by providing access to safe drinking water through low-cost and affordable household water technologies, and by promoting rural sanitation through our sanitation marketing approach. In both cases, we encourage the adoption of improved products and practices among the rural poor, while simultaneously creating both profitable and sustainable enterprises. ID in Ethiopia is currently doing lots of activities. Currently, we have more than 60 plus staff with our headquarters based in Addis Ababa, and we have also presence in three major regional states that represent nearly 70% of the population in those three states, both in the lowlands and highlands. And the key interventions that we do in Ethiopia include 
resilience building interventions that help households, communities, and other institutions to adapt or mitigate the impacts of climate change and or market shocks. And we also help poor smaller farmers and pastoralists who have improved access to crop productivity enhancing technologies and practices in situ water conservation and irrigation to enhance soil fertility and increase the moisture of the soil to increase production and productivity. We also support sustainable and diverse economic or business opportunities that help engage women, youth, and the most marginalized. We do this through applying human-centered design principles uh, in ways to design development projects and solutions to context. And we also develop markets, sustainable market systems through market-based and private sector engagement with the aim to build resilience and enterprises or businesses with a sustained impact in transforming agriculture and wash sectors for improved livelihood and sustainable local economic development. To date, IDE in Ethiopia has impacted over 145,000 households in agriculture and wash combined and has helped over 627,000 individuals with affordable products and services in agriculture specifically. In 2019 alone, we helped more than 8,000 farmers increase their annual household income by a total of $3.8 million. That means more money for farmers to spend on their family's health, education, and economic development. I would like to say sorry that we couldn't uh, be together and hope to bring you here in the future to see the wonderful work which ID is doing in Ethiopia to address the challenges that smaller farmers and pastoralists are facing, for so that you can witness for yourself the impact that we are making in the lives and livelihoods of the people in Ethiopia. Thank you.